I'm Jeremy Saffer, music photographer, and I'm here at Matthews talking about the gear I use, how I use it, and why I use it. I'm gonna talk a little bit about the lighting setup I have here. I have a four foot octa here, lighting her face. I have these two rim lights giving this lighting that's gonna make her hair pop from the background and add that separation with her shoulders, give you that kind of rim lighting right here. And then I have this backlight with a pink gel on it, which is gonna separate her from the background even more. The thing I wouldn't do is I would not use a chrome background stand. And the reason for that is I'm going to have to edit this out of any shots that are full body. So if you look, you'll see this popping through. The Matthews background stand is all black and much more easy to deal with on a black background, much more easy to edit out. Even on a white background, because you can see it so clearly, it doesn't reflect any light, pops it right out. Uh, this is set to 6.0. Uh, these are set to 4.0 and the reason for this is this is shooting through a box so it's being diffused and there's inner diffusion here. Uh, these are shooting through parabolics so it's multiplying the lighting output by two. And this is set to eight because it has a gel over it. And the gel brings it down two stops. The eight is gonna make it pop those are two extra stops and um, I'll have the final image that can pop up with, with all this. And yeah, again, getting this angular lighting so it's not just straight, boring, flat lighting hitting her face, having it angled up and having it where I can shoot anywhere in this area and I can shoot right against the column if needed. Usually I would have this kind of straight on but I don't want to block this camera here. So if I'm shooting straight on, I'm usually shooting right here against the column and that's why I really love this runway base. Having those legs that go out like this, being able to get right next to the column and as close to the back wall as possible if there is a back wall. If not, either way, I still get my back against the column, which you cannot do with a C-stand. That's why I love it, it's great. So I'm just gonna turn these off. I'm gonna take this out of the set. So you have this front lighting here. If I wanted lighting from above to get that really kind of metal, like you're in a void of nothingness. All right. Good to go. And it's sturdy, it's not moving anywhere. And if I do need to move it, which I just did, because it's on wheels, I can very easily make micro adjustments as needed. If I wanna use the feather, I'll bring it out a little bit more and I can shoot with feather. And I will sometimes move them around to get different looks, especially if I'm shooting on a white background and that's when I really use lighting from above a whole bunch in the studio. So you can get that nice like kind of gray and fall off. The fact that I can move it with one finger super easily is great. And it's not gonna roll off. It's not gonna do an over roll or under roll. When your finger stops, that light stops. And it's great. And obviously I'm not gonna move it with a finger, but the fact that you can is, is amazing. But magic.